Anomalies of an extreme age and of an uncannily artificial appearance can be easily dismissed as geological when uncovered here upon our planet. With the Wall of Finestras being no exception, pondered over with wonder for millennia, its origins hotly debated, even gaining the nickname the Chinese Wall of Huesca. Two parallel borders can be found still standing, having a medieval fort built upon it, not only demonstrating its tremendous age by displaying its found condition even within medieval times. Could this enormous anomaly, like that of Gornaya Shoria found within Siberia, be a ruin left by a lost civilization, possibly one made of giants? We feel, due to its remote location, Gornaya had fortunately remained untouched and, as such, we unearthed artificial anomalies that have survived for eons, all but proving the Cyclopean Wall's artificial origins. However, the Wall of Finestras can be found within modern-day Barcelona, and it is surrounded by water. Could the wall have possibly once been an enormous dam, demonstrating a once-advanced civilization's technical prowess? The Great Wall of China, for instance, and the little shared Great Wall of India, although claimed as new world ruins, have foundations long shared by passionate individuals that are of an unimaginably greater age. As if the walls were simply renovated in places to serve a more modernized purpose. The wall, if of artificial origins, is now in a fossilized condition, like countless other sites around the world, in particular Cappadocia if it weren't for the fairy chimneys, tunnels, and in some areas still visible, perfectly symmetrical Petra-esque ruins, then it too, like many others, have and are easily dismissed as simply geological formations. There are many artifacts we have shared here upon our channel that are not only of a tremendous age, but certain rare wooden artifacts have themselves in fact fossilized, gaining a textured appearance reminiscent of the wall itself further supporting the hypothesis that the wall could indeed have an artificial, if prehistoric, origin. It is a sight which we find highly compelling. We feel, after vast and in-depth research surrounding many of the oldest ancient ruins upon Earth, that many of these heavily eroded sites were themselves built by highly advanced civilizations. This fact indicates to us that many more ancient ruins must predate those which were built with such precision. We have, on many occasions, covered ancient sites which clearly underwent more than one advanced building phase. Sites that were clearly re-inhabited on more than one occasion by groups who utilized such builds in order to flourish themselves, achieving a level of technological prowess which allowed them to either build atop the advanced settlement they found themselves within, or with the Great Pyramids, capable of undertaking an enormous conservation effort, now seen in the form of the casing stones. Additionally, on many occasions, we have shared numerous perplexing uparts found littering the mines of Earth and indeed the coal seems within. A reoccurring date of around 300 million years ago, attributed to many of these relics, any ruins from this same area would have undoubtedly turned to dust by now. Just how old is human history here upon our Earth? Due to academia's requirement of producing books, filled with the so-called perplexing answers for the sites you seek, any funded individual studying these now prehistoric sites will only ever attribute them to individuals who have been studied in depth, these being the largest intact archaeological finds surrounding more modern inhabitations, often conveniently overlooking any explanation of how these groups built such sites in favor of bombarding you with lifestyle data of their most conveniently well-studied imposter. Has civilization been flourishing and restarting here on our planet far longer than any of us have been led to believe? Cappadocia, for example, within Turkey. We feel that this site is clear evidence of human civilization, stretching far back into Earth's history. Once a bustling city, filled with ancient dwelling carved into the bedrock. 
This prehistoric site is eroding away in front of our modern eyes, clearly created by a group of highly capable rock cutters. Its true grandeur, however, now lost to history. We feel that, regardless of academic opinion, there are countless sites around the world which tell the same story. That we, as a species, have indeed outlived our own oldest ruins. It is a reality we find highly compelling. We recently shared some compelling evidence suggesting that a number of megalithic sites dotted all around the world are far older than the civilizations claimed as the builders. It seems that as modern academia has gained a stranglehold on the education of mankind, it has willfully ignored, and in some cases suppressed, the truth regarding many unexplained ancient ruins found all over Earth. The pregnant woman of Baalbek, for example, a megalithic stone many attribute as the largest ever man-moved stone, and although many stones slightly lighter can be found effortlessly placed within ancient structures everywhere. Academia stresses that it couldn't be moved any further. The same can be seen with Yangshan Quarry in China, home to the largest known cut megalith in the world. Again, academia suggests that this stone was abandoned due to its size, completely ignoring the enigmatic notches indicating that the entire shape of these enormous rocks had actually been carved prior to their attempted liberation from the bedrock. They insisted that it was abandoned suddenly, not due to unknown circumstances, but due to them not able to move them. And although the ancient Egyptians, and better known, seagoing Romans themselves, claimed ownership to many of these perplexing structures, and clearly displaying a severe level of erosion, there are some sites coming to light which have seemingly been left to the eons, never again being claimed as another's work. Deep within the southern wildernesses of Siberia lies the mountain of Shoria. Rarely visited by humans, and even less frequently studied, this remote mountain, however, was a few years ago discovered to be the home of something astonishing. Now known as the Gornaya Shoria megaliths, their truly astonishing enormity has made it hard for certain fields of study to even give this place a second glance, and although some of the structure now revealed to the world through photographs, clearly shows that these remarkable stone walls have indeed an artificial origin. The few funded individuals who have looked at the site have still somehow had the audacity to claim that it is nothing more than a geological formation. Made with stone bricks many times larger than the stone of the pregnant woman, and with them reaching high up into the heavens far above the tree lines, one has to wonder who could have built this cyclopean wall? When did they build it? How did they build it? Where did such enormous stones come from? With such enormous structural blocks, it is no surprise that this mind-boggling structure has survived the tests of time. A remarkable location, one which needs serious archaeological explorations in search of remains, so we may one day ascertain the true builders of this amazing place. There are countless ancient sites found all over the planet that are not only far older than current academically claimed by individuals funded to come up with specifically permitted dates for their creation selling one's integrity in favor of financial securities and an authoritative position within society, offered to them in return for their obedient deceits. Like a mule guided by a carrot, these individuals not only fear losing such reputations and handsome incomes if one were to tell the truthful story regarding said sites, but they unquestionably turn a blind eye to the many areas that I cover which are often not only implausible to state where the work of the particular permitted re-inhabitants placed much closer to us within history, but to suggest that such ancestors were capable of said feats is simply a preposterous claim. They often knowingly and deliberately overlook such features, due to their lack of any plausible explanation for such accomplishments. As such, with many ancient sites simply ignored, or are disguised as closed book cases, 
with a dull, deliberately disinteresting tale of origin. These academics have some of the most intimate access to these ruins, yet deny the world's population a true account of said relics. For to suggest that a civilization less advanced than us accomplished the placement of megaliths far into the thousands of tons precisely atop one another with awe-inspiring stonework details and polygonal brickwork seemingly created like a puzzle of unique pieces, among many other baffling features, I feel is a proof of a deliberate agenda-driven conspiracy concealing said site's true origins. These unexplainable anomalies, the main reason why said individuals perceive me as a threat, not only to their funding, but also their positions of trusted authority within modern society. For the truths I tell, due to the inexplicable nature of their existence and their lack of exposure within academic studies, expose the field as a funded organized group of deceivers. These features are simply impossible for them to explain. Yet they continue to claim that they were built by people who were undeniably incapable of such feats. This is why many unexplainable artifacts simply vanish, and why many ancient sites are not only brushed under the proverbial carpet, but said features overlooked, ignored, and not mentioned at all. And our next relic is no exception. Many people have heard of the Great Wall of China, one of the only ancient ruins which is so large it can be seen from space. A very famous wall. Yet an even greater number of people are unaware of another great wall which can be found within India. Successfully overlooked by modern historians and antiquarians alike, this wall, known as the Kumpalgar, has been claimed to be merely a recently created ruin. Yet I feel, just like the many other ancient ruins found around the globe, is far older than currently claimed. It is of an astonishing size. And a number of alternative, so-called fringe researchers, which academics like to derogatorily call them, have found substantial evidence that not only is the upper layers far older than claimed, but the entire wall sits upon a foundation immensely older than the wall we see today. A foundation that many have concluded is so old that it had simply turned to dust through the eons, rebuilt at a currently unknown time within antiquity. The wall stretches an astonishing 22 miles, and once protected hundreds of extremely ancient dwellings, and measured at over 40 feet thick, to suggest that such a feat could have been accomplished by our more recent ancestors, who the founders of mainstream academia permits, is a tough posit to agree with. For if such claim were true, why is the wall seemingly ignored by modern history? I feel the reason the wall has been successfully kept largely unknown is due to the fact that if openly studied and widely known of, more people would research such site, eventually realizing, like many before them, that the wall is far older than currently claimed and possesses such enormous amounts of stone along with an immensely older foundation that current claims of its origins and age are simply incorrect, and a clear attempt to shrug off this astonishing structure as a reasonably modern creation which they hope will not be looked at closely. An attempt to close the book on a possible antediluvian ruin, which many people as a result told with a dull deceptive history for its existence, which not only stifles one's interest regarding the wall's origin, but deters the curious from ever investigating the wall's truly astonishing nature. A motivation which I feel is the main driving force behind its lack of public exposure. Who rebuilt the Great Wall of India? How old is its far older, highly eroded foundation? The Great Wall of India was an astonishing feat of ancient engineering, a feat that academia would prefer stay largely unknown. A reality which I find highly compelling. If you enjoy our content, if you think our battle worthy, please help us to continue our voyage of discovery in unraveling the mysteries of history. Links to donate can be found within the description. Without you, we cannot survive. Thank you.